Yo, what's up? It's your boy Bettina. I'm back with another video. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Woo! Today we're gonna be acting to people who took plastic surgery too far. First, first of all, like my my take on plastic surgery. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like it depends. Like if it's like a reasonable thing. Like same now, like your nose is like shifted here and trying to shift it back in place. Fine, fine, fine. But these niggas took it too far though. Took it too far though. And I uh, be, do believe like as as a society, we all take it this far. Like a like, guy, you need to stop it. Like you know what I mean. You're fine the way you are. Is this like a, a thing? Fine, fine. Like a slight, it's like manush. You fine. Do that. It be you. But like, don't take it far. Like like. Is this and like this that you do this don't do that you get me like be easy so like let's react to this man <sighs> oh my fuck this lady's high bro <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i um I have she realized she fucked up she realizes if exactly guys if you take it there it's too late the look down, she realized it fucked up. Oh my days, it'll never be the same again. Bad, bad plastic surgery. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the occasional body tuck-in surgery or even the Brazilian butt lift that is becoming pretty popular. But there are some people who have taken what the, what the fuck? Plastic surgery a little- <laughs> Oh, no, I can't. I don't want to look at that. Too far. Mm. From transforming themselves to animal. What, 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 what are you now? Like, you're not human anymore. Your fangs? What? What? You look like Pumba. Like what? What? Uh, you look like a Pumba koala smara chupacabra kulishulu. To taking up the look of inanimate objects. Damn, like this nigga is like, he actually thinks he's Superman though. Here are 10 of the most shocking ones. Before we dive into this list, make sure to leave a- People, like this is what I realize every day. People are fucked up. No, no, like people are like, <laughs> like people are fucked up. Like, like actually, they actually like gone. They lost their minds. Like, the, like I thought like I was crazy. Like these niggas are crazy, bro. Like this is like wild. Like on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's Star 5 giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Number 10, Ethan. Ethan became obsessed with tattoos at the tender age of 11. I am the world's youngest. Oh, fuck! It's my small oh. What? what? No! Oh! 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 oh. oh what is that? What is that? Oh! Oh! I'm it. At that time, he had already started stretching out his ears with plugs. Although this why, wasn't so- Why do you do this? You don't have to do- why? Like why? You are disgusting my- Weird for the time since it was quite trendy. Still this good looking kid became more interested in modifying his body because he wanted to be different. From experiment- You look like a satanic lizard. Like that's what you look like. Manning with different tattoos, Ethan- SIS! Oh! Oh, looks like an alligator. Already gotten 40 body- Like he, he looks like a satanic lizard. Look at him. This is disgusting surgeries by the time he was 22 Ugh. among his many surgeries was snipping his tongue removing his belly button and tan how how the fuck do you remove your belly button how the f how do you even do that bro like how does the human dynastics even manage that tattooing his eyeballs every inch of his skin is covered in tattoos and he is one of the most modified youths alive with hundreds like he's a mutant he's a mutant of thousands of followers on instagram you don't need further proof to know how captivated people are by this unique look of course ethan ran the huge risk you're disgusting me oh my days i i've oh oh can't even, oh going blind when he wanted to get his eye tattoos but it ended up going well thank the lord thank the lord that's over what what do we have now? Oh my day she wants to be born. Pixie Fox. Pixie Fox wanted to make herself have the tiniest waistline possible in 2015. To achieve <laughs> Bro, she got the V taper. She she's a flopping like that pizza. Basketball. <laughs> she started by wearing a corset every single day. 
At first, the scatter weighs to about 18. <sighs> it's fucked up, but I'm not complaining. I'll let you decide why. Inches, which is really not bad, but she wanted more. Pixie decided that it was better to have six of her ribs removed. Oh! Surgery. Fuck! Did it? Oh! She'd already gotten several other cosmetic that is not healthy. features, including a Brazilian butt lift, liposuction on her inner and outer thighs, four nose jobs, cheek fillers, four breast jobs, lip fillers, a mini brow lift, permanent makeup, and Botox surgeries. Now that's quite a list. The surgery took about four hours, and she plans on having more modifications to her body. Like, like, bro, the, like, they actually like this is cyborg. So this is a cyborg. Like they actually like they modifying. Like you know, it's like this is like cyborg shit though. This is a human. Like this she ain't human no more. Like if you've been this through this many like plastic surgery, you're not human anymore. Like you are cyborg now, bro. My name is Paulina and I spent over 200,000 pounds. 200k? You dumb bro. From a plastic. Number 8. Rodrigo Alves. Rodrigo Alves had always had the- Oh! He's a man! He's a man! He's actually- ah! Dream to look exactly like the Ken doll. Be me, Rodrigo Alves. Bro, like- <laughs> ah! This, this nigga looks like the type of nigga to come in your nightmares, but like what the fuck? He's not human. He's not. He's actually not human. He's actually not human. This is like plastic, bro. Like, this, like this is like fucking crazy. Nah, 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 nah. Like actually deep this, you know, deep this. Like imagine like you one of your homeboys they come back next day and look like this shit. Like actually think about it. That is this is fucked up. This guy used to look normal. This is fucked up, guys. This is actually fucked up. Wow. It is a full time job. It involves a lot of uh, plucking and lasers and bleach and makeup. Like, like you actually, like what the fuck? Or what, like what goes on in your mind? Not just the face, but down to the shiny plastic-like skin. So he went ahead to spend more than nine hundred thousand dollars on plastic surgeries to make this doll-like appearance. This is a this is a disease. It's a sickness. Like it's a fucking doll, bro. You're not gonna look like that shit. You're not gonna look like that shit. It's a fucking doll. This is a disease. Con Possible. The desire to change his body started in high school, where he got bullied a lot for his appearance. Rodri Fuck yeah, I'm bullying this nigga. Like, bro, like, oh, bro, you look normal, bro. Like, you look Go normal. Suffered from abnormal. Like, that wasn't that wasn't bad, bro. Like, that wasn't bad, bro. Like, bro, that wasn't bad. This is not bad, bro. Like, what the fuck? Normal hormonal fluctuations when he was 16, and this caused him to grow breasts. He was also teased continuously about his potato-like nose. So it's no surprise that he fell in love with surgeries after his parents took him for breast removal surgery. Like, bro, like, this is, like, if I had to get surgery for a amount of times, people make fun of me, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, this is normal, it's life, it's life, it's both character bullying, bro, like, this, bro, like, you're, like, you're gonna, like, if you can fun, make fun, make fun back, bro, like, there's no need for, like, this shit, bro, like, what the fuck? It's 17. Rodrigo was able to achieve the shiny. Bro, you, you look hideous, bro. Like, no, like, I'm not, I'm not even, it's not a joke anymore. This is a life crisis. His skin, thanks to countless skin grafting surgeries. He also had about 10 surgeries before he could get the Ken nose right. Unfortunately, he got an infection. These doctors don't give a fuck, bro. He's like, I don't care about you. Pay me, pay me. Bring the bank up, bring the bank up. Sixth surgery that almost took his life. Still, he survived, despite his nose not working as it should. He breathes through his mouth and can't even take in scents. Later, he had another surgery on his arms to make them more muscular, but ended up paralyzed. Despite the very real threat of having his arms chopped off, he survived and was able to get them working again. Who, 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 this nigga surviving all the shit. Who the fuck is this guy? Number seven, Toby Sheldon. We have quite a lot of people with favorite celebrities that they would love to be like. But no one has actually tried to make themselves an exact copy of their idols. Well, that was until Toby Sheldon. He was so in love with Justin Bieber. Baby, 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 oh. Baby, 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 oh. Bieber, that he decided he wanted to look exactly like his celebrity idol. When Justin Bieber got famous, I was so jealous of his good looks. You're not, you're not him, bro. Like, 
Like, I like, fuck this guy. This is actually, like, I thought I was going to come here and laugh, have a good time. I'm pissed off. I want to fuck. Ah! What the fuck? He had this baby face that I just really like. You're not him. You're not him. It didn't, brother, I hate to break it to you. It didn't fucking work out. You, hey! So Toby went off to a plastic surgeon with a picture of Bieber and told him, make me exactly like that. This cost him more than a hundred thousand dollars as he- A hundred K, bro. You don't even look like Bieber. Let me tell you about something. Hmm? You fucking piece of shit. You need to get your shit right. Get your life right. Fuck you. He had his lips, nose, eyes, hair, and face done repeatedly until he felt it looked just right. By the time it became public knowledge that Toby had gone under the knife countless times to be like Justin, he was mocked a lot. Later, Damn he got right. featured in 2014 on Botched, which is a show for people who went through terrible plastic surgeries. But this is not where the story ends. Toby tried to launch his music career on the back of being a Justin Bieber lookalike, but it was a massive flop. In 2015, he went missing. What's but his name? What's his name? Let's let's it Toby Sheldon song. Let's actually try to act to act some of his music. Toby Sheldon song. Okay, we got Toby Sheldon's music. We're, let's we're gonna actually listen to the shit. We're gonna actually listen to the shit. Let's go. Bieber's eyes. Bieber's eyes. It ain't Bieber, it ain't Bieber, but this is some like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not bad. The center of attention everywhere. The crowd adores the way you wear your hair. Your charming smile. Why do I like it? Shit! I thought I was gonna throw this nigga. Why do I like it? Why do I like it? Okay, okay. And nigga, it, it like it ain't it ain't enough to it ain't enough it like shit. It ain't enough to chart. But this nigga is valid though. Fuck! All right, all right, all right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Fuck! Okay, 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 okay. Just defy you. I. <laughs> It ain't bad, you kinda, kinda like it, I kinda like it. Face done repeatedly until he felt it looked just right. By the time it became public, he like, he went about it wrong though, like, it shouldn't have been just like, it should have caught him, hun, hun, hun. With knowledge <laughs> that Toby had gone under the knife countless times to be like Justin, he was mocked a lot. Later, he got featured in 2014 on Botched, which is a sh but it was a man dead in a motel after taking some harmful substances. Number 6, Cindy Jackson. At first glance, Cindy Jackson looks like any regular person, and you wouldn't think that there was anything unusual about her appearance. But that's until you discovered that it took more than 45 non-surgical procedures and 14 surgeries to achieve that look. Her list of surgeries so far includes a chin reduction, two eye lifts, liposuction, two nose jobs, and three facelifts. She also had semi-permanent makeup. Chemical peels and both permanent fillers. makeup, permanent makeup. Like how insecure do you have to be, bro? Done. This all started when her father died. Like, like, bro. When she was 21, and Cindy started using her inheritance money to get some minor surgery. Your father didn't leave you that money for that shit, bitch. She never liked the way she looked, oh. so this was a. Great opportunity to change her appearance into something she preferred. 
Slowly, this turned into an obsession that Cindy started going for body modifications just a few months apart. In fact, at some point, she held a... Let's just say it paid off. Let's just say it paid off. <laughs> yes, let's just say it paid off. ...record of having the most plastic surgeries done on her body. After she lost that record, she still had a neck lift done. Cindy later opened her plastic surgery consulting service. Where the I hey, it paid off though. It paid off though. It paid off though. She was hideous. Now she looked like a damn prince. It paid off though. It paid off though. Fair play. Fair play. Fair play. And lady advises celebrities on how they can pay get off natural though. results for <laughs> their surgeries. It paid off though. Number five. Okay. Now we now we starting to get into the horror films like. Emu. It's the vanilla chair move? What the fuck? She's got Chucky. Not a strange thing to see people get eyelid surgery in Japan because they want to look more Western. In fact, it's a trend that's gotten quite popular over the years. But Vanilla Shamu decided to take this a little bit further. In 2013, the Japanese. Oh my days. What, what is this fish gillets around her eyes? What the fuck is this? This model began her journey towards transforming her body into a French doll. First, she started by bleaching her skin to look Caucasian. Then she had work done on her hair to turn it ah! injure before working on her face, lips, and nose. All these started in her teeth. I can't even look at when she also enlarged her breasts and changed her chin. Of course, this wouldn't be complete without the popular. Like, oh my days. Why are people doing this, bro? Like, this, this shit needs to be illegal from now on, bro. That plastic surgery needs to be illegal, bro. Like, come on, bro. Imagine you have to see this, like, in the mains. I have to see this in the street. This is an endangerment. Um, this is not safe. Or eyelid surgery. Vanilla spent more I'm not even safe looking at this. $100,000 on about 30 plastic surgeries, and she's not done yet. She plans to get even the dangerous height lengthening surgery that would chill anyone to their bones. Number four, Dennis. She looks like the boogeyman. Like, like the boogeyman from WWE. Wow, what the fuck? This, 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 this is like, this is terrifying. She looks like, she's like Tigger. Pumba. Chupicabra. Oh my days, this is, oh, yo, like, this is fucking scary as fuck. Like, if I, if I woke up and I saw a shit, fucking it up. What the fuck? For someone that believes stronger in the. This is a dude. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Power of spirit animals, Dennis. Dis oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Decided to take it a step further by trying to <laughs> Yeah! This thing is fucking ugly! He's fucking ugly! Into what he believed was his own spirit animal, the tiger. <laughs> oh, you White. fucked up bed! You fucked up bed, bro! You fucked up bed, bro! You fucked up bed! Give a name is Stalking Cat. <laughs> 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 Twenty-three years old, and it all started with one tiger stripe tattoo. From then on, Dennis actually trying to be. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> fuck this guy. Man. He's kept adding more tattoos and going through several surgeries to make him cat-like in appearance. His surgeries included elongation, brow implants, and nose flattening. Dennis also wears synthetic whiskers, which pass through holes in his lips. However, body modifications are illegal in the United States if they're not normal by society standards. So he had them done by independent artists without anesthesia. One can only imagine the pain he went through to make this happen, but he believes it's all worth it. Number three, Anne. Getting plastic surgery to make yourself look younger is quite common, but have you ever heard of surgeries to make you look older? 
apparently Anne, who became a grandmother at the age of 47, wasn't happy with how her son was often mistaken for her boyfriend. Also, she had younger men in their 20s. He's flirting with her, and this ruined. This is this 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 is what woman. This is a woman's dream. She was living a woman's dream. This is this woman always want to be younger. Like, ah, oh, I'm young, bitch. Like, this is a woman's dream. Why are you making yourself older? You fucked up in the head. Marriage and two long-term relationships. Fed up with this and the jealousy from her friends, Anne decided that it would be better to make herself look much older. She felt the attention. You fucking, like, you're a grandma now. Why would you do that? Like, why would you, like, take away your gift? Like, you are gifted this... And you like threw it away like like what the fuck's wrong with you from the younger guys was boring and got the inverse of botox which would add some wrinkles to her face number two eric we got the nigga from avatar we got the nigga from avatar what the fuck Sprague. we call this the lizard man and it took more than 700 hours of tattoo sessions to get to this point all he wanted what the f oh my days don't Please tell me this is like actually like please tell me please tell me this shit ain't poking out if this shit is poking out what the fuck like who like, who, like what what like is like in your mental like mind like, le like guys let me talk to you like fuck that fuck this video let me talk to you like that like if you're insecure like like bro accept who you are like what goes on in your mental striations to make you think i want to fucking do this shit hmm don't don't do this you find the way you are accept yourself love yourself what the i mean like what the fuck have we been looking at right now please tell me that please tell me that hmm? I'm, I'm seeing a fucking nigga from a tiger tiger <laughs> hey now i'm seeing a lizard i saw i saw a, 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 a satanic lizard before now i'm seeing a lizard from um avatar what like guys, you don't have to do this. Accept who you are. Don't turn into a lizard. My word. What to do is become the spitting image of a lizard. And the tattoos gave him realistic looking reptile scales. He also got implants in his eyebrows and a split tongue to make oh, his face look exactly this shit is like real. Like that of a lizard. So why would anyone go this far with crazy modifications and get used to being stared at while touring the world in freak shows? Well, he believed that he's a mythological creature, and that's how he reflects this. I've lost all hope, bro. Number one, Herbert Chavez. We all had crazy wishes when we were five, especially those that grew up watching superheroes like Spider-Man and Superman on television. Drop your favorite uh, superhero in the, in, um, the comments. Who's my favorite superhero? I'd say my favorite superhero. Oh, shit. Spider-Man's doing his thing, but it's different him. Superman's good, but fuck Superman. Uh, I'd say Batman. I'd say Batman. Like, Batman is like, you know, he's brave. Like, like he's a human being and he's doing all this shit. I'd say Batman. But one man decided to turn this dream into reality. Herbert always wanted to be a Superman. Bro, oh, you look like a Chinese cock clock and you, it, you, your thing fell. And while we thought it was as simple as stepping into a phone booth and coming out transformed, Herbert went under the knife to make it happen. This man spent more than $8,000, which were about 19 surgeries from 1995 to 2012. Talk about a man dedicated to the course. His surgeries included ab implants, lip liposuction, skin whitening, and nose jobs. As soon as he went able to achieve the look that he wanted, no day would pass without Herbert dressing up as Superman and even going out onto the streets. I admire Superman because he's such a good man. He is handsome and he helped people. And with that, we end today's video. Like, is this is this normal to you guys? I don't know what what don't don't I don't know what I'm seeing here, but okay, what damn okay, so I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, hoo, hoo. but this is this Superman shit normal? He's a good man. He is handsome and he helped people. Is this normal to you guys in any way? Is this normal to you guys in any way? Huh? 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 My word. My word. Like, you're sick. You're, 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 like, if your room looks like, hey, hey, 
your room looks like this or like of any like person you're sick in the head bro wow and with that we end today's video which do you <sighs> i don't know like th as for this video bamba nation if you want to see ah yeah <laughs> if you want to see me react to this uh type type uh yes yes two yeses in the comments if you want to see me react to this video because ah, it looks like something okay <laughs> anyways it's been your boy big d we got another one baby love y'all see y'all next time peace